Howdy folks, it's early morning here on the Fedora Railroad and I just want to make a quick video kind of on how to covering uh, crews and switch lists. I get quite a few questions around those in my comments on the video series and it can be a little bit confusing. So let's go over that real quick. I'm on my uh, series railroad here because I already have a lot of crews created. So if you hit I to bring up your uh, company window and you go over to crews, you can create different crews. And then you can assign equipment to those. And then each crew can have a switch list. So it's all kind of tied together. So you can see here, I'm active on the Whittier local crew. So I can leave that. And if I pull up my switch list with T, uh, looks like I had something on there. Okay, let me join back to that. Clean up, there we go. <laughs> hey, you get bugs too. All right, so I'm not in any crew. Uh, so we can create a made up crew. Great, and then you'll automatically be a part of that crew. I think you could join multiples? No, it, okay, they've, they've fixed a lot of bugs since I've played around a whole lot with this, so leave that. So we see how this made up crew now, you can join that crew. You can add stuff to your switch list, you can assign engines, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that. You can see no equipment assigned. So if we go to Whittier Local, you can see equipment is FRR3. So that's this engine right here. We control click on that, go over to uh, operations. You can see you can assign a train crew. So this engine is assigned to the Whittier Local. This in single player, it just kind of helps keep things sorted a little bit. It becomes way more relevant in multiplayer where you can have different crews and different permissions levels for all the different players. So what I've done is, let me join that one. And you see the switch list changes. Um, it's early morning. I don't have anything assigned to the switch list. So let's actually go see if we have anything over here at the depot. So if you go to any depot and you click on the station agent window, you can go to freight. And you'll get a big list of things in that area that are uh, waiting to be processed. So we can see, okay, let's put that on the switch list. And let's see, hardwoods, nope. Arm supply, yeah, that will go over probably on the local. Uh, stencil, Whittier house track. This is things I want to process with the Whittier local. Uh, this stuff is coming back from Whittier, so we'll throw those on there. And then the sawmill is just kind of its own thing, so I usually don't throw those on the saw on the uh, switch list, but you can if you want to. So now let's hop back over to our engine. Select that. So now those are on my switch list. If I go join a different crew, let's say I'm going to hop over and do the Bryson local. If I join that crew. It's going to update the switch list is now for the Bryson local. So I have one car on there so far. There'll probably be more because this is the beginning of the day. I need to go through each station and assign stuff out. But that's basically how that works. The switch list is tied to a crew and you can be in one crew at a time and you can have multiple crews just to kind of divide up the work. So I'm going to leave that crew. So you see, I've got equipment assigned to that. I've got you can actually assign passenger cars. I don't know what benefit that gives, if any, right now. Of course, our road freight is number 10, and we got number three here for the local. So I hope that makes sense. The key is making sure you have a crew. You want to just have one crew, just create one called My Crew, and then go at it. Hope that helps. Happy railroading.